Now a story you'll see only on two. A Springfield mother convicted of beating and raping her adopted children is out of the hospital and in jail. So Nuwasu talked to Vonda Ferguson as she was getting booked and is live with the exclusive interview. Ken and Vonda Ferguson told me today that she does not plan to file an appeal in this case. She said she was not surprised by the outcome and she appeared to be in good spirits, much different from the woman we saw in court last night. Vonda Ferguson greeted our cameras with a nod and a smile as she walked into her new temporary home, the Clark County Jail. Shackled in hand and leg cuffs, she was quiet but very polite. Why did you swallow the pills last night? Um, I don't even really recall doing so. This was Vonda Ferguson in court on Friday night. Prosecutors said Vonda and her husband James Ferguson beat their five adopted children with belts, sticks and hammers, burned them with irons, choked them. And Vonda is also accused of raping two of those children with the handle of a toilet plunger. Verdict count 32. We the jury find the defendant Vonda Ferguson guilty of the offense of rape in violation of a high revised code. On Judgment Day, as Judge Richard O'Neill said the word guilty 32 times, her smile did turn somber. But behind this mask and the pursed lips, no one would have guessed Ferguson was hiding a bunch of small blue sleeping pills in her mouth. Pills deputies found in the holding cell. She was rushed to the hospital on a stretcher, powder still coating her mouth. So ask her why she was doing that, and she said, because I'm not guilty. But now, this church-going former social worker says she is done. Wanda, are you going to file an appeal, I'm sure? No. No appeal? Why not? I'm tired of fighting. I'm sorry? I'm tired of fighting. Really? Yeah. Anything you want to say to the children? Um, no, they're doing good. I mean, you've maintained that they lied throughout the whole thing. Well. Did they lie? Well, it doesn't matter now, so. Long story, okay, that's all that matters to me. Tonight, Ferguson is sleeping inside this isolation cell in the jail. She is on suicide watch, dressed in a special smock so she cannot hurt herself anymore. And how long will she be kept in, in isolation? Until our mental health therapist determines mm -hmm. that she's okay and she's no longer harmed to herself. Ferguson will be sentenced on December 7th. She could head to prison for more than 65 years for these crimes. Reporting live, Sonu Basu, 2 News on your side. All right, Sonu, thank you. Well, new